This is an AeroPress. Actually, everything you see here is the AeroPress. I wanna walk you through this brewing system if you've never heard of it before, and I wanna show you a way to brew the coffee in here that's different than what the manufacturer recommends. But first, let's take a quick look at the components. First part, we've got this uh, chamber. Second part is the plunger. Onto the chamber goes the filter plate with a filter in it. That gets screwed on to the bottom of the chamber. They also have this funnel depending on the vessel that you want your coffee to go into. Most cups work just like this. Now what the manufacturer recommends is that you add your coffee, then add your water, take this stir stick they provide, give it a stir, and then as it's starting to go down into your cup, put the plunger on and push it down. I didn't like this method because I didn't like the idea of some of the water just going straight through the grounds before it's all mixed up, before all those grains are like surrounded by the water extracting that wonderful flavor. So what I've actually started to do is a little bit different. Some people think this is wrong. I think this is the best. Take your plunger, stick it on the counter, put the chamber onto that. Make sure you get it up about a quarter of an inch. You don't want it right on the edge or else it's a little bit, a little bit wobbly dobbly, kind of precarious. Then what I will do is I'll add my coffee. Actually, let's brew, let's, let's brew a cup. Freshly ground coffee, it's important. You're gonna wanna wet your filter first, so I always just do this. Ow, that's hot. Now we're gonna add the water. I always like to give it a little turn as I'm adding it. Don't fill it up all the way yet. Give it a stir. Add the rest of the water. Then we're gonna add our filter plate. Cup. And we flip it over and we plunge. This actually takes a little bit of time. Not time, it's just, it's actually hard work. You actually have to push down fairly hard. As soon as you hear that hissing sound, you're done. And just like that, you've got a fantastic cup of coffee and a mess to clean up if you don't do it right by the sink. Just waiting for the furnace to turn off. Now I've had friends come over and I'll make them a coffee with this and they're like, hey, you got a French press, that's cool. This is not a French press doesn't even make the same coffee. The key thing with a French press, you've got your glass vessel typically and you add your coffee, stir it around, let it steep or let it brew. And then when you're done, you plunge your little wire mesh screen through that, holds all the grinds to the bottom and you can pour out your coffee. The key difference though is that when you're using an AeroPress and you've got these real fine paper filters, these trap the oils that go through and you don't get an oily coffee. And oil is where the bitterness is in coffee. So when you use a French press, if you take a look at the coffee before you add any sweeteners or creams or anything like that, you'll see a thin layer of oil kind of dancing on the top. That's the oil from the coffee beans and that's where the bitter flavor lies. With an AeroPress, you can have a really strong cup of coffee. If you like those dark roasts, it's incredible how smooth it is when you can hold back those oils. And that's where these suckers come in so handy. You know, right now, a lot of us can't go to our favorite coffee shops, get that great coffee that we like if you're stuck at home. These are great options. And especially the fact that you can take this out hiking, you can take it RVing. You, it's, look at this, this is a coffee brewer right here. And then when you're done, you just simply take this out, put this in the sink, push the little puck out, it creates a little hockey puck, and boom, you're good to go. You can use that for fertilizer in your garden if you wanna do something like that. And then, uh, yeah, it's just fantastic. If you've never tried one of these AeroPress coffee brewers, I strongly recommend it. If you're a coffee fanatic, if you love coffee, this is a very simple, very delicious, and it's incredible the way that you can pull different flavors from different coffee beans. It's just amazing, amazing stuff. Anyways guys, there you go. The right way to use an AeroPress. Don't do that silly thing that the manufacturer tells you to do where you blah, blah, blah. That's, that's, no, no. This is the way to do it. Actually, you should be a little careful because this is a somewhat of a contentious issue. These things actually have a cult following like crazy. There's, if you look up on social media is the hashtag coffee outside. There's whole groups of people that do like custom paint jobs on AeroPresses. They mod these things. I mean, I just buy it like this because it works, but. I know a lot of those people, if they see you brewing like this, they'll tell you you're doing it wrong. I don't think so. Trust me on this one. Mm. That is a good cup of coffee. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, enjoy some wonderful coffee, and we'll see you tomorrow.